Locus is a new public art trail for the centre of Lairwick. With grant funding from Shetland Islands Council via the Scottish Government's Town Centre Fund, six works of art have been commissioned by Living Lairwick to act as placemakers, animate and enhance the area and offer a new way to engage with contemporary art and the environment. An accompanying trail map will give more information on each of the works. The project is being delivered by Living Lairwick in partnership with Shetland Arts. Stage 1 involves four public sculptors by leading contemporary artists and designers. Work on Locus started in December 2019, involving residents, community organisations and businesses from across the town, focusing on three key themes. Where we are, where we're going, where we've come from. Kenny Hunter is a Scottish sculptor who makes monumental civic sculpture as well as gallery-based work. His public artworks feature in cities and landscapes across the UK and internationally. His sculpture for Locus is called As Above, So Below. It's bronze and concrete and represents the practice of gas extraction from below the seabed to the west of Shetland. The sculpture is composed as a cross-section of undersea landscape and its geology. The top section represents the gas pipeline, the midsection the seabed, and the plinth suggests the gas pocket within the Earth's crust. These three elements combine to depict the coexistence of industry and nature. David Lem is a Scottish artist based in Edinburgh. Through research-led practice, he works with various media to create work in response to particular places or experiences. For Locus, David has been particularly interested in visual languages, from runes to the notation in fair oil knitting patterns. He likes to work with found objects, and on his research trips to Shetland he became fascinated by the discards of industry, from offcuts of scrap metal to the decommissioned oil rig at Dales Vaux. David's sculpture, Stacamila Baca, is inspired by sea fastenings used in local industry to secure lods to boats. These artefacts, reminiscent of letterpress blocks, are being translated into linear motifs in the work to represent possible components of a language. Joseph Ingleby is a Glasgow-based sculptor specialising in site-specific public art. His works range from large outdoor pieces to smaller sculpture for domestic, gallery or corporate spaces. He's interested in how our man-made world coexists with nature, how we copy nature or work against it, focusing on organic shapes on all scales, from the microscopic to whole landscapes. Storm cargo consists of two halves, inspired by the shape of a guillemot's egg. The outer surfaces of the work depict tides, waves, coast and landscape, along with traditional Sixerine Shetland boat construction. The egg is sliced open to reveal a cargo of elements that make up Shetland, a Skatnes wheelhouse and a hearthstone from Jarlshof, Edmondson's chickweed from Unst and Fort Charlotte. Civic Soup is an Edinburgh-based architecture and design collective focusing on inclusive design, engaging with diverse communities to take interest in and ownership of the built environment. Their process of working often involves workshops. For Locus, they chose to work with five schools in Shetland to create resource material for their sculpture. Civic Soup used Shetland knitwear as the starting point for an exploration of pattern making and gathering stories from the young people about life in Shetland. They were also inspired by the processes involved in producing yarn at Jameson's Woolen Mill in Sarnas.
The colours and forms created in the school workshops in Hwalza, Whiteness, Bray, Hamnavo and Sund are echoed in their final work at Hill Head, the never-ending Gansey. Locus will be an outdoor community asset, contemporary art for locals and visitors alike, where we are, where we're going, where we've come from. And with further funding from the Town Centre Fund, Stage 2 of the Locus Project will see the addition of two murals to the trail, coming soon.